Hey, we go back again with another video and yes, it's the preview of Sunderland versus Cardiff City on Sunday at three o'clock for the purposes. Well, because it's tonight, England ladies take on Scotland ladies at the Stadium of Life. Sold over 40,000 tickets for that match. So I hope England do well. I wish us all the best. But Sunderland's game's been moved back to a Sunday to allow for the day for the clean up to begin. But before we get into the preview, I want to say a big congratulations to Anthony Patterson. Signed a new long-term contract. Sunday FC is delighted to announce Anthony Patterson has signed a new long-term contract. And it is until June 2028. Now, after putting pen to paper, Patterson said, I'm absolutely delighted to sign a new contract because you can see the trajectory of the club and it's on an exciting time to be here. It's obvious as an absolute dream to come to, to come from the academy to where I am now. You know, he's, he's played over 80 odd games in the first team. So far, like I said, 80 odd games in the first team and he's kept 26 clean sheets. 26 clean sheets and Anthony's absolutely buzzing. And he also goes on to say, he loves to, I just want to help, I just want to keep improving and help the team as much as I can. Hopefully that ensures the club finishes up as high in the season as possible. Absolutely brilliant. And then Sporting Director Christian Speakman said, we are delighted with Anthony's progress and he's establishing himself as one of the best young English goalkeepers. So it's a real statement that he's committed his long-term contract with us. We have confidence in him and his ability to improve further. Absolutely fantastic. So there we go. I hope Anthony just, you know, Anthony Patterson, absolutely fantastic. Hopefully he stays till 2028, you know, the contract, see it out, have a great time at Sunderland and also get promoted to the Premier League. That would be absolutely amazing. It would be the icing on the cake for the young Anthony Patterson. But not just that, we also have some news on Rushin today. Yes, Rushin has got his visa through, finally got his visa through. Sunderland's head coach, Tony Mowbray, has confirmed Nazarai Rushin is eligible to feature this weekend following the comp completion of his visa application process. The 24-year-old Ukrainian received the relevant paperwork this week and is now available for selection for the lads' latest Skybet Championship for Cardiff against Cardiff on Sunday. So there we have Rushin probably, hopefully, will be on the bench on Sunday. We never know because going into the Cardiff game, I think I would keep an unchanged side. Definitely. And also, we've got a young lad called Zach Johnson at the club and he's gone to Hartlepool. The 18-year-old defender has gone on Hartlepool after he's just signed a new long-term deal at the Academy of Light, but he's been released to Hartlepool on loan to progress you know, hopefully it'll get better as a football, come on. So now we'll move on to the Cardiff game on Sunday. Cardiff City, they were formed back in 1899, 124 years old. You know, they, they played the football at the Cardiff City Stadium. 33,316 people allowed to get in the Cardiff City Stadium. Vincent Tanner's the owner, owner finished to a low, lowly position of 21st place last season. But Errol Bulland is the new manager, new, new head coach there. He's 49, 48 years of age. He's, he's been in charge of nine games so far. He's putting his stamp on the side now, though. I'll, I'll go through these list of results in a minute. He's, played, he's been in charge of nine games. He's won four, drawn two, lost three. But his last four results, five, six results, have been, been absolutely brilliant. The big Coventry who spent a lot of money in, in the pre-season and on their, in, you know, building up their squad. 3-2 at home the last game. Before that, they, beat, they won the, the Welsh Derby 2-0. So they've won the last two games. They were beaten Ipswich away from home 2-0. They finally got beat 3-2, so they had a good start in that game. They beat, they beat Birmingham in the Cup 2-1. And they beat Sheffield Wednesday, so the last five games, they've only lost once. And they were leading that game 2-0 at the time, so the, the lads come in. And he's doing superb at Cardiff. Got them really playing decent football. So this is not going to be an easy game whatsoever. It's going to be a very difficult game on Sunday. Cannot take them lightly just because we think it's Cardiff and it's a home match. We've done really well the last five games. We've won four and drawn one. Won the last three games, Sunderland. Let's keep this roll going. Remember last season, we lost at home one nil against Cardiff. But then we went down there and beat them one and nil. Head to heads, we've won 22, we've drawn 17, and we've lost 28. Now, I think they played a 4 3 3. The front three were Tanner, Ike Ugbo, who's, who's I think he's on loan. Is he on loan? Or, oh no, he's just joined. 
Seven games he's played for them and he's scored three goals already, so he's a danger man already. And then Grant, who is on loan from West Bromwich Albion, I think he's played what, seven games and scored one goal. Now, I let you know what I tell you the reason why Cardiff, I card Cardiff, you know, how they got the name, but I can't speak Welsh, so there we go, so I'm not bother telling you today. But that's it. So what will the team be on Sunday? Now, will it be exactly the same team that started against Blackburn or would you make some changes? Would you make any changes? Now, on the game against Blackburn, we won 3-1. There's some people who got that correct, correct score right for the Big Book of C. And then people who got the name in the Big Book of C for a correct score of 3-1 were Ray, 1956, Ohio Hoon, Steve 4424, Multi Squashman, Alex Stapleton, Adam Lerigo, Ollie Hogg, Liam W and Finley all got the correct 3-1. The we'll get a point in the big book of C. I will be doing the draw right now. I have the five names that are going in the hat down here. And we'll let you know who wins the Inter Milan, Inter Milan shirt. But if you want your chance to get yourself a point in the big book of C, please leave a score prediction down below in the comments. I'm going to go for a score prediction. I mean, I don't think... It's been it's been a long time since we've had three back to back wins. I think since about twenty fourteen. So how how far we've got to go back since we've had four consecutive wins in the championship, or or even in the point? Have we? I don't think we've ever done in the Premier League, but even in the championship, even in League One, it goes back to twenty fourteen. So when was the last time we had four consecutive victories? I wonder how many years that actually goes back. If anybody can find out, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna go. Imagine winning three games back to back, all three one. I'm going to go Sunderland 3, Cardiff 1 at home. It's not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong. The lads are going to turn up. They're not the likes of Clark. You know, like likes of Barr. All the, all the midfielders have all got to turn up. Pritchard was superb during the week. Ballard was amazing, immense. Clark was, was really good, awesome on the, on the wing. Barr's getting better and better. So the whole team's performed well. Even Dan Neal scored a goal. So that was absolutely fantastic performance during the week. But I'm going to go for 3-1. Let me know your comments down below. Let me know your score prediction down below. Just a quick preview. As you see... Back to Norman on Sunday, back to Wincy's Bar and Grill with some special delights on the menu. I'm over the moon looking forward to my dinner on, on, on Sunday, Wincemeister. Right, let's go for this now. We'll see who, who wins the Inter Milan shirt. And here's one getting pulled out the hat. Right, up my hand. <laughs> there we have it. Who is the winner of the Inter Milan shirt? It is going to be... Jammy S A F C. Jammy S A F C. You are the winner of the Interman and shirt. If you want to, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, I will re raffle it again in the next video. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, channel. Thumbs up. I'm over the moon with Anthony Patterson. I'm pleased to sign a new, new, new long-term deal to 2028. Absolutely fabulous for the young lad. A lot of young players sign a new contract. We've had Ballard, we've had Hume. You know, we've had plenty of players sign new contracts. So it's really great to see him. He's been here since he was eight years of age. You know, so it's amazing. He's come through. He's from Shields. Come through the academy. He's a son and lad through and through. But he's doing amazing. 80. Five, 86 games he's played in the first team 26 sheets clean sheets absolutely fantastic also I'm pleased Rusin has finally got his visa through now that's amazing I hope Bennett I hope his scan comes back good I have had no word on how his scans come out hopefully it's okay touch wood I want to see him back sooner rather than later and also Zach Johnson's away at the Hartley Post so there we go give us a thumbs up take care God bless me God go with you we'll see you on Sunday for the match day vlog at Wednesday's Bar and Grill see you later thanks for watching